Okay, so, um, I do not, not normally go Facebook Live. However, uh, something that concerns me that's happening right now at East Central uh, High School is we have a group of Christian, uh, I don't know, social justice warriors or something. Um, he had a loudspeaker and he was out here um, preaching um, on a on a boom mic to all of the kids here at East Central uh, High School. Uh, let me see. I, can, I don't know if you can see. There's four of them over there. Uh, the sign says, you have lived on the earth and luxury and in self-indulgence. You have fathered your hearts in the day of slaughter. Um, Sherpent, church, churchrepent.com looks like um, looks like atheism is a temporary condition we will every to give I don't know something Jesus Christ is Lord amen um, and then churches in America have not failed to be pro-life they have failed to be Christian well this right here I don't see is a very Christian act um, because uh, with them doing that, they are subjecting children to maybe beliefs that they don't believe in. And with that, um, that, that makes it, it's one of those things that, you know, if my kids wanted to go to church, they, they could very well go to church. Um, I would not stop them, but in the same instance, um, you know, I, I want them to be able to pick their path. I don't want them to... I don't want them to have to um, be subjected to this, especially at school. Um, now, the, the big thing is that, um, thanks, Jeremiah. Um, the big thing is that um, the um, sheriff's department was here when I dropped Robert and Brynja off. <coughs> and um, when they dropped, when they dropped, the, when I dropped them off and then I came back around, um, I dropped Phoebe off at the middle school and they still weren't, and they were gone. Um, TPD has driven by and they have said nothing to any of these people. And um, there was another mother here that her daughter was crying because she was upset because she walked to school and they were like throwing pamphlets at her telling her that she's a sinner and, and everything like that. And I think this is ridiculous. Um, I, I think it's, I think it's terrible. Um, I want to know, I want to know what they can do to protect our children and things like this. Cause, um, these guys, they are promoting violence because I mean, not everybody wants to be Christian and not everybody wants to be an atheist and not, a, and some people don't want to be anything. So, but the other mother said that. I guess that they are doing this at a ton of schools this morning. Um, Webster, um, they're, uh, they are standing out front of Webster, which is uh, it's not my alma but it's on the west side. Um, this is the first one I've seen out this way. Um, of course, I don't really go swing by the other schools in the morning, but... Um... Oh, oh, I just heard him say something. I think somebody just flipped him off and he's a little upset about that. That's. Yeah, we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. Oh. Put it out to the world. King of kings, Lord of lords. Jesus Christ is Lord. I don't know if you guys can see every that or hear that. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That includes you, young lady. Yeah, can I see that? He loves you. He wants you to repent and turn to him today. He loves you so much. He loves everyone so much. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. Maybe I should go talk to them. Let's go talk to them and see what they say. Do we want to hear crazy in the morning, guys? Okay, let's, okay. I, I'm, I'm doing this. We're going we're gonna to go say hi. We're, oh, wait, I should probably get my keys. I'm not in my car. I don't want crazy getting in my car. You know, that, that'd be a damn shame. Yeah. Yeah, let's. We'll go, we'll go look at the, we'll go look at the first sign over here and see how fucking ridiculous it is. Let's see. 
and just start the walk over this way. Also, yeah, I'm not wearing any makeup. My hair is not done. So everybody gets to see me like this in the morning. So promotefrontlines.com. I'm not sure if that's theirs or not. Um, do you know this man? Supreme Court decided he has no rights. Why? Because he's black. Supreme Court was wrong. Uh, Supreme Court is dead wrong. Right, to matter. Uh, no, I'm just wondering why you're harassing my children. I don't think we're harassing anybody. Would you um, like to yeah, I mean, I dropped my kids off, mm -hmm. and the first thing out of their mouths is like, I don't want to hear this. Well, that's and not I was necessarily like, yeah. harassment, though. Um, well, yeah, they don't want to. Legally speaking, you're, it's not harassment. You're using Christianity like a dick, and you're shoving it down everybody's throat. I don't think so. I don't have any weapons. Yeah. Churches in America have not have a, failed a to really be pro-life. They have failed to be Christian. Well, technically, everyone's failed to be pro-life when you think about it. Because if it was pro-life, then uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't children get to go to college for free? And wouldn't, I don't think uh, socialism is the answer to all socialists. Oh, see, I think again. That's a bad argument. No socialism. Right. I think socialism is evil. It's based on the taxation, Christ, which is theft. From God, a message of reconciliation. Do you know him? Abolishhumanabortion.com. So, yeah, women have no rights, That's like usual. No, nope. women are of equal <coughs> value to men and children. Everybody has equal rights in the eyes of God. Everybody. Are you willing to be? Uh, are you willing to be fair with our message that you disagree with? That's the question. Do what now? Are you willing to fairly represent the views with which you disagree with? Am I? Well, I'm sorry. To, are you willing to fairly represent the views with which you disagree? When you said that women have no rights in our view, that's false. Women have every right, just like men do. Right, but, but the right when to it comes murder to a, a child, the, the right yeah. to murder a child does not exist. It's an imaginary. Okay, right so when she's raped, she has to live with that, right? To live with what? Live with being raped? Yeah, are she has to live with being raped. Are you proposing that, that murdering the the, the child mm -hmm. undoes the rape? I don't think no, it doesn't undo the rape. Okay, good. good. But what I'm, I'm glad saying we can agree is on that. that I've had a lot of people say, well, you know, rape, it's, it's, a, it's a gift. It's a gift from God. I think that's when there's a when there's a when there's a baby that is yeah. produced from rape. Whoever said that rape, is an idiot. Is an idiot. The here's baby the thing is a blessing from God, yes, mm, but not the rape. Not necessarily. Well, all babies are gifts from God. Every human is a blessing from God, given to this world, given to given to the whole community. Anybody see that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Every person is a gift from God. See, I'm the one. I'm the one saying that every person is a gift from God. You're the one saying that some are disposable. It's okay to murder some if you don't like them, or if you don't like the way they came about. But I'm that's not, not saying right. that it's okay to you murder anybody. You love death, and you lo well, you said that you, you said that uh, children are disposable. But here's the thing: is everybody rape. should have the ability to choose. Choose because what? Because choose cho to kill someone else. Choose what they decide is right. No, that's not the case. We don't. We, you don't agree with that when the case of rape. Do you? Do you think that a man should be able to choose to use his body to rape somebody else? No, of course not. So he but doesn't we can't get to choose them. to use his body. Yeah, so a woman should be able to choose so maybe to we should stand up. Right, maybe we should criminalize the violent oppression of others. Yeah, but right? that doesn't happen, and you know that. It does in abortion. You know damn well. In abortion, rape in and abortion, abortion are wrong for the same reason. Right. It's but a the more other powerful thing, party victimizing when a smaller, it, weaker one. Right, when it comes to abortion, a woman should have the right to be able to choose to whether she wants to not have to that murder. child or not. not she should murder. not have to go through that torment. Not she should not murder. have to go through that pain. And that child, when they grow up, what are you going to tell them? Yeah, you are a product of rape. Yes, and God can use Yeah, evil no, things you're bullshit. That's, That's exactly what, what it is. Says. Why do you, you think that it's so crazy earth. that God could bring good out of evil? Because you're standing in front of me? What? Because you're standing in front of me? That's a non... Do you know what a non sequitur is? Because you just made one. Hmm. Do you know what that means? Non sequitur? Hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay, what does it mean? I don't have to explain myself to you. I don't think you know what it means. Yeah, so it, it means that you said something that did not follow. So. You acted like it was a response to what church I said, repent. but you said com. something that doesn't follow. Uh, are you guys part of a church organization? Kind of. It's a loose organization. We call ourselves abolitionists. And I like to go on Sundays, I like to go in front of churches and hold similar signs and call them repentance. Yeah, because well, they don't look you can anymore. do that in front of a church. I know, I, I know, you you're happy with that. You just don't happy I, when I go to your, your altar. Of sex humanistic indoctrination. And like here's that. the thing: is that you shouldn't you shouldn't do that. If there was an atheist group out here, you guys would be fucking livid. Christians no, all over the world would be like, "Oh, they can't do that in front of our schools, no, and I'm they not, can't they like can't that. do that to our children." I'm not like that. But I'm not like that. There was this a, place is atheist. I'm not like that. Yeah. So I know that you think, I, and I understand. I even understand why you say that because most people are foolish and stupid. Mm -hmm. But I'm not like that. Most I've thought it are. through more. I know, and I agree with you. Mm. I'm just saying that I've thought it through more, and I would not be upset if some atheist group were out demonstrating or whatever. I what I am kind of, what I do think is funny is that this person pulls up, who's like oh, on no, your I side, to her. and she's like, "Oh, let's bump some music to prevent rational dialogue from taking place." Whereas oh, I'm I the one trying you. to stimulate. I, I can hear just fine. Yeah. Now what I.
could do is I couldn't hold a conversation naturally with my children in the morning with my windows down because of your fucking boom mic. No, That's ridiculous. That. Maybe you should uh, not take a mirror. You should go home and talk to him. No. Can you talk to him at home? I got to run, brother. Do you want me to sit here? Hey, I'll get it. I'll get it. No, 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 no. Let me help you. Do you okay. want me to go yeah, put sure. something against you? Yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Can I so, talk to them at home? Uh, yeah. I want to have a conversation Sweet. with my children yeah. on their way to school. Very nice. We'll have it, have it before and after. This is a very... We need to also reach out to you're, them and tell them the truth because you're not going to tell them the truth, but I wish you would. Um, no, my kids are free uh, to do what, what they want. But do you tell them the truth about Jesus? I told them they can find the truth. I but was raised Baptist, truth. honey. I, I was know. raised Baptist. And most Baptist churches are perversions that God hates. I've obeyed. Yeah. I, I, I was raised Baptist. I know many walks of Christian life, and I know a lot of people that this right here, like, uh, I have a friend who is probably the best man on the planet. His name is Tim Jack. Tim, you might be watching. What's up, Tim? Hope you're watching, man. God bless you. Um, so how many of those unwanted kids have you adopted and fostered that I'm are products of rape? Or foster. Oh. Uh, but I do think that the churches should step up. As a matter of fact, if every church in the I state of Oklahoma I think churches should be taxed. Adopt one child. I think uh, I don't think anybody should be taxed. So I think they should I, be I, th I think I think churches should be taxed. Well, I wouldn't mind that so much actually. So I don't really care about that. Um, uh, but I but I do know that if every church would adopt I? one child out of the foster care system, then there would be no children left in the foster care system. That's why it's one of the reasons I call churches to repentance. How do you know what's right and wrong? Have you ever thought about that? The basis for making those um, value judgments? I don't ever. I just try and be a good person. How do you know what's good? You can see it. How? By the number of friends I have, by the people I reach out to, by the people I've helped. I'd like to see. I mean, I don't know. Am I am I a system? good person? How do you know? Well, just because Anybody? a bunch of people on your Facebook Live say you're good, that doesn't matter. East Central Junior. Yeah, sorry, not East Central East High School. Central how do you know what's? How do you know that friendship is good? Have you ever thought about how you made those decisions at the basis? Um, because they're built on certain they're built on certain platforms. I mean, you, uh, I have a gift as far as um, sensing people's integrity, like their internal stuff. I can see auras and different things like that. And when I see like lots of negativity, like I mean, I mean, on the way here, like pulling up, it was just black. As how do you nice. know that it's? How do you know that it's negative? do this for example like how do you decide what's negative and what, that integrity is you can feel it i mean you can see the unease in the now students, what if a third guy feels ridiculous. so let's say that there's a third guy named jimmy let's just pretend that jimmy says it really makes me feel good to rape children to death and i think it's obligatory what would you tell him because it makes him feel really good he thinks it's good mm -hmm. how would you convince jimmy that that's a bad thing well i wouldn't be talking to jimmy maybe you can convince him maybe he said he's open to persuasion I don't care. Jimmy can go do whatever the fuck he wants to do. Oh, okay. Terrible. So he can go. What if he tries to make a law that says it's obligatory to rape children? Would you be okay then? No. Why not? Because that's not right. How do you know it's not right? How did you make that decision? Because I'm not saying it is right. I'm just asking you how you know. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about that? If it's just based on what you think. A lot of my Christian friends are coming right now. Ooh, that's terrible. Yeah. Ooh. They're probably the same tell me to go to hell when I go outside their churches and call them to repentance of apathy toward the abortion holocaust. Uh, let's see, love, trust, helpfulness, building people up, supporting them. So who says he knows what's right or what's wrong? Oh my God, thinking right? is building people up. Like we have to expose false thinking. That's what the Bible says. Second chapter, the Bible says we must expose every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of Christ and take, that, take, a, take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Like, so I'm wondering like where the this. police are because you know that's this is like terrible. They should have run these guys off like a long time ago. I'm sure they've gotten multiple calls. I mean, the sheriff department, like I said, was here, it's but a, now it's they're a not. It's sidewalk. Of course, we can be here just like anybody can. And there's another police car right now. They know that we're allowed to be here. Uh, he's police, though. Even though he's I paid here. for this school, they won't let me go in. But uh, I paid for the sidewalk. The least they can do is let me stand on the sidewalk I paid for. That's terrible. Right? That's ridiculous. Your tax it? dollars at work. That's what the First <laughs> Amendment's for, man. So again, I'd like to know your foundation for making value judgments. How do you know what's good and bad? It sounds like it's just your opinion, your feeling. What if your feeling changes? They would that would changes. that mean that would that mean that the good, people change, people grow? Would the definition of good change in that case if you change? No. No. But if it's so, it's not based on your feeling. What is good it based is, on? Good as a, as a solid foundation. What is the solid foundation? I think it's geez, You think it's leaves no, it? I know. That's right. Well, what do you think? Tell me. Give me your alternative. It's just, it's just love in the earth in general. Nature is it's full of dying. animals that kill each other and rip each other and steal each other's. Mm -hmm. and it's just How 
Beautiful. It's based on nature. It's just beautiful, isn't it? What's beautiful? How do you decide what's beautiful? I don't think you have answers to these questions you've never thought about. Look, I know you're nervous. You don't need to be afraid of me. I hope you're not. Because I don't mean to project any sort of fearful, uh, fearful stance or anything. But I want you to consider that you're a, you worship yourself and one of the symptoms is that you make up your own morality as you go based on whatever you feel. But that is against the created order. That's not what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is bow down to the creator. Yeah, I, I agree. My friend says that you should be my friend Tim to learn how to be a proper Christian. He's a Mennonite and he is that right there. Like, even though, you know, I love my technology a lot, that's probably like the most purest... Um, like, you know, religious standing that I can say that I would, I, I fully support everything. You know, he goes to Mexico and builds houses for, for kids down there oh, and, white savior and everything like Mexico. that. Thank God. Thank and, God the uh, whiteies are there to rescue Mexico. And, uh, oh, did you hear that? I've been on many mission trips myself just like that. I think they're horrible and ungodly. Did you hear that? That's terrible. Why is it terrible? What's wrong with it? Huh? What's wrong with it? Whitey is there to save Mexico. Look at me. Wow, you're racist. No, that's okay. <laughs> I guess. You're a fool. Listen to yourself. So. My goodness. So. But anyways, but, I'm tired of wasting my what, time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my car. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my car. There he is. Bye. He just said Tim was a racist. Like what? That's crazy. Like, this is terrible. I'm Facebook living right now. How are you? Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Trying to spread a positive message. Keep your head up, too far. Yep. Yeah, he said that a friend of mine is, uh, he said that a friend of mine is a, uh, was a racist because he's a missionary. A friend of yours is a racist because yeah. he's a missionary? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, he was, he was like... Huh? Yeah, um, he was like, oh, he's like, you are not, you know, uh, when he was talking about keep the kids away, and why did he go to so many, yeah. Um, looks like they complained. Huh? Is no, the no, no, no. He said just don't give them an audience because that's what they want. Yeah. He gets them off, I know. Oh, yeah. Like, did you hear them when I walked back over here? Yeah. They didn't have anything to say. And then uh -uh. they were like, we're going to indoctrinate these children when you leave. Yeah. Fucking assholes. Whatever. Yeah. He said that they're not a church organization. They're part of, like, a... Um, they're not even a church organization. Yeah. No. They're, they're not a church organization. You too. Thank you. Yeah, so he said Tim was a white savior. Um, and he said that he's been on many mission trips and he thinks it's wrong and it's terrible what we do on mission trips. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. They're packing up and leaving right now. You can see. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, that is, that is a going to be something that I bring up to the school because I don't think it's right. Um, now, now, granted, how legal it is probably it is since that's public property on the outside of the school. But um, I mean, still, they could had. If it was if it was someone preaching atheism or something that people don't agree with, I mean, and still like this, you know, there was a few parents that definitely didn't agree with this either. But um, if it was something like, if it is something on a bigger scale that people didn't agree with, and there were enough calls to the police department, they would have had a sheriff out here or the D to tell them, you know, just to be out there and be like, hey. You know, you need to you need to pack up and go home. Nobody wants to hear it. They would have basically stood in front of these people that were trying to preach um, the children. And basically, you know, I, I have a lot of people that are Christian um, from different religions, you know, walks of life. But in the same instance, I feel that 
you know, they know what my standing is on this and that I don't, um, you know, I don't, I don't care to hear the preachings and everything like that. And so, and so we don't do it and people just shouldn't do that to, they should be able to find their own path, um, the one that they want to do. <laughs> I will grant him the Jesus is not white. That's true. Um, but I also feel that, um, like I said, if it was, if it was another organization or another group, these people would be, um, you know, there would be tons of police there. There'd be tons of news crews. And I'm sure that, you know, unfortunately, because I guess it's happening at other schools that, um, this just isn't, um, this just isn't something that, you know, the police can separate their time to be able to handle. But if it was, if it was a bigger deal, you know, if somebody maybe was prancing around out there with a gun, then maybe they might do something. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, they left, so I was also leaving. Um, but, uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed... I go my, my live video I was just gonna record it and then and I was like well no these people these people need to be put on blast there was another lady that um, her daughter had called her like I said at the beginning crying because oh Jesus hold on I'm in the neighborhood it doesn't matter there the seatbelt is on um yeah, that's what I told him, Dusty, is don't shove your beliefs down someone's throat. I mean, like a dick. You know I mean, basically, you being out there preaching to the children is rape. You're shoving your beliefs down their throat, even though they don't want to hear it. And like I told him, you know, I was trying to have a conversation in the car with my kids with the windows rolled down on a nice Tuesday morning. And I can't because there's a loudspeaker in the background of somebody preaching something that I don't give a shit about. <coughs> <coughs> but you could just see, like, all of the kids standing out there, like, at the school were uneasy with what was going on. Like, their faces were like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't, you know, should I go talk to these people? Should I stay right here? Do I need to go inside and get away from it? But the confusion and, and also the I don't care side of things from all of the student body there was very apparent that they don't care. The kids do not care. They are kind of raised in a world where they don't feel that maybe God exists because of the things that they've been through. Um, but you know, every child should be entitled to find their own way. I'm not lying to my children by not preaching the Bible to them. If they wanted me to talk to them about Jesus or the Bible, I would learn and tell them here, or I have Tim Jack to do that. But anyways, I'm going to stop live streaming so I can drive the rest of the way <coughs> and stop talking because my throat is killing me. Anyways, have a good day, and I will be safe. I promise. Bye.